Going in on shore now. Water spouts spinning up on the Alabama coast as tropical storm Cristobal makes landfall near Louisiana. And happening now, the tropical system giving drivers headaches, severe flooding, shutting down roads on both sides of the bay. We've got team coverage to show you what you need to stay away from. And the tropical storm making landfall in Louisiana, but some of the greatest impacts across our part of the Gulf Coast. How long will it keep raining? I'll have your forecast coming up. Yeah, tropical storm Cristobal pounding the Gulf Coast, torrential rain, making it dangerous driving conditions tonight. Yeah, and we're continuing to see the power of the storm, producing water spouts in Gulf Shores and Dolphin Island, shutting down roads and flooding coastal area. Those conditions expected to continue throughout the night and on into tomorrow. That's right, and tonight we have our fleet of storm tracker vehicles out on the roads, finding the trouble spots so you don't. Fox and News, the only local station with this technology. Our team of reporters tracking the issues on both sides of the bay, but we're going to get to them shortly. However, let's go right to our chief meteorologist, Jason Smith. He's going to start our 90 minutes of coverage on this storm. Jason. Well, Byron Lanise, right now we're still seeing the center of circulation here near Lafitte, Louisiana and New Orleans, but the heaviest rain bands they're actually impacting our part of the world as we're seeing some very, very heavy rain right now. A number of locations are under flash flood warnings and this rain is going to continue tonight. It's really going to be tomorrow before things start to scatter on out. Now, what are the particulars with this one here? Well, let's look at the statistics on Cristobal right now. Winds at 50 miles an hour. Motion is to the north at seven miles an hour, so it's hesitated a little. That happens a lot of times when a tropical system starts interacting with land. It can decrease its forward speed. That's temporary. The pressure at 993 millibars. It's holding its own as a mid grade tropical storm and look at the convection here. You've got a center there, but the most intense part of it over us and over central Mississippi winds out there are sustained to tropical storm force at Dolphin Island. 39 mile per hour winds out of the east southeast, 33 mile per hour winds sustained at Brooklyn Field. So we have the wind element to this and some of the peak gusts today have been up close to 50 miles an hour. That's enough to knock down some limbs and cause for some problems. We remain under a tropical storm warning over most of the area and now there are a number of counties that are currently under flash flood warnings from all this rain. These bands coming in. This is a one hour loop. Look at this heavy rain from Dalton. Dolphin Island to Southern Mobile County, back up through West Mobile, back into Greene County, George County, very heavy rain in Baldwin County and more offshore that's yet to move in. So we're just not done with this situation. We're still looking at heavy rain continuing for the next several hours. It's going to be an active night and all this heavy rain is going on in areas that are currently under flash flood warning. So that gives you a good idea of what's happening right now. We're still getting really active weather on account of those rain bands on the outside of this tropical storm. We'll have a more in-depth look at your weather forecast and how things begin to gradually improve in the extended outlook coming up. Well, this tropical storm shutting down power for thousands of people across coastal Alabama. Alabama Power working to restore service where they can, weather permitting, they're saying. We've also seen plenty of coastal and river flooding from Cristobal. Both sides of the bay seeing some high water. Dolphin Island taking a pounding today. Meteorologist Jennifer Lambers is starting our live team coverage for you tonight. She's in our newest storm tracker truck. And Jen, you say this truck really came in handy for you today. Yeah, Lanise, it really did. We saw those winds. It pounded the side of our vehicle, but it didn't budge. Now, this is exclusive technology to Fox 10 News, the newest edition of our Fox 10 Storm Tracker team. And this was the first time it's been out in a storm. I'll tell you this, it really came in handy today because we did head on down towards Dauphin Island Parkway. And as we started to cross towards the bridge there, that's when conditions really started to deteriorate. We did get some footage earlier today. This is going to be earlier in the afternoon when we started to see this. We saw high waves 
waves, rough surf, strong winds, and also heavy rain within all of this. A lot of debris pulling up onto the roads too, and that's what warranted these closures is that cars cannot pass this safely, and that for that safety of anyone driving on and off the island, ALDOT did make that decision to go ahead and close the island and that for that road, but we did talk to Mayor Jeff Collier about what his plans were and his solution to the problem. It's in our interest to get this road open as quickly as possible, but also as safely as possible. And so one of the things I offered to them is that if we can at least open one lane, we could offer our police escort as a mechanism to help them do that. We would be willing to do it. And they did just that. They did have those police escort in waves today, but now that road is completely closed and it's going to stay that way heading into tonight. We did have a lot of folks stopping us and asking, when do we think that we could get off again heading into tomorrow? And another thing to keep in mind is high tide. We're still not done with the storm. We're going to be continuing to see it. So even tomorrow morning when they do look to see if they can open back up the road, that high tide will be just after 11 a.m. So it is another thing to consider, but we'll keep you up updated here on Fox 10 News for when this DIP road and the bridge will open on the causeway, but just stay tuned to Fox 10 News for the latest. For now, reporting live in our new Fox 10 Storm Tracker truck, meteorologist Jennifer Lambers, Fox 10 News. All right, Jen, thanks very much. Moving east now to the Baldwin Beach as we find our Michael Warwick out tracking conditions. Increased the ball certainly kicking up rough surf and lots of flooding there tonight, Michael. He's in one of our storm tracker trucks. Michael. Oh, it sure did and turned a lot of vacationers around from the beaches. That's for sure. Uh, a live look here with our storm tracking camera. Really beneficial, not just to give you a live look out here at the conditions, but also for our safety when severe th weather threatens like today along the beaches where Cristobal made an unwelcome arrival. The first storm of hurricane season to hit the Gulf Coast, not playing around. Cristobal triggering massive and potentially deadly waves and spitting sand across the beach. Well, one thing Tropical Storm Cristobal is bringing with it to the beaches are dangerously strong winds, so strong here at one of the condos in Gulf Shores. It's not the fencing, the metal fencing on a pool here at this condo complex down onto the parking lot. They've since strapped that down. It can be sunny yeah. one second and then rain in the next. Mother Nature's <laughs> her own girl. Yeah. She just does her <laughs> own thing. Under the cover of a Gulf Shores parking deck, this group watching the impressive but dangerous conditions. I mean, we kind of feel bad for everybody that came on vacation down here. Like we're down here all, all the time, you know, but like this is still like really cool for us to see. Tonight, Cristo ball, not what any vacationers have in mind. A live look back out here as we head down West Beach Boulevard. The palm trees on both sides of the street still being roughed up by the effects of this outer band of Cristobal as it continues to churn up the Gulf and make its way north. We'll continue tracking the conditions down here through the night live in Gulf Shores. Michael Warwick, Fox 10 News. And Cristobal kicking up some potentially dangerous uh, rip currents out there. It is not safe to be in the water right now. So if you see double red flags flying and you get in the water, you could also face a fine. A lot of visitors might want to go out and look at the weather, but it is best to just stay away from the water right now. A typical trouble spot during storms, low lying causeway. The eastbound lane shut down today as Mobile Bay spilled over the seawalls. Fox News reporter Morella Porter was live there for you tonight. And Morella, has the water gone down any? Linnies, it actually has gone down a lot. Earlier when we were here this afternoon, you could barely drive on the causeway. Um, both lanes had a lot of water on it. But now let me give you a look with our exclusive storm tracking camera so that you can see what's happening here. I'm going to swivel the camera around and you can see that uh, you can actually see both lanes. There's not water on top of them covering them anymore. And that wasn't the case earlier today. I'm going to zoom in. I know it's like really dark. Uh, I'm trying to zoom into this car if you can see it uh, right there. When we were here earlier, this car was pretty much halfway underwater and taking a look now, um, you can see that the water has gone down a lot. Uh, so this 
our, our storm tracking truck has been very helpful with trying to get the angles that we probably wouldn't be able to do ourselves with our camera. Um, and like I said, the water on the causeway has gone down a lot, but here um, you can take a look at what it looks like earlier. Most of the causeway reduced to just a sliver of a turning lane, while some parts were submerged by Cristobal's storm surge this afternoon. All eastbound lanes closed on the causeway this afternoon as water spills onto the busy highway, making it impassable for drivers trying to get across. The rising water forgiving to traffic going west just barely touching the right lane. This abandoned car showing just how much of Mobile Bay was forced onto the highway, making a giant pool of restaurant parking lots. Some drivers still managing to make it past the flashing lights, cones and warning signs, telling them the road was closed as Aldot crews cleaned up the mess, scooping and scrubbing slippery seaweed and other debris off of the road. And tonight, both eastbound lanes are still closed while the westbound traffic is open. We have seen a couple of cars driving westbound, but it is still closed eastbound and uh, just driving here ourselves. You know, we were let through by LDOT, but it was kind of dangerous. Just, you know, you really couldn't see in front of you. So that's why it's just so unsafe to try and um, go around those cones, uh, even though the road is closed, which we did see people try to do earlier. Live on the causeway, Morella Porter, Fox 10 News. Marella, thank you. You guys be careful out there. Meanwhile, Dolphin Island Parkway near the Dog River Bridge, no stranger to flooding. Aldot closing DIP there due to the high water from the storm. That's where we find Fox 10 News' Lee Peck. And Lee, it may take a while for all that water there to recede. Yeah, Byron, as we expect more rain overnight, that is the expectation. Let's take a live look with our storm tracker camera. Aldot has had the road closed most of the day. Even though some drivers have managed to make it through, most of them have turned around saying better safe than sorry. It didn't take much. Tropical storm Cristobal creating just enough storm surge to make it difficult for drivers heading south on Dolphin Island Parkway. Sean Wilbur had to dredge through waist deep water to check on his boat docked at the marina under Dog River Bridge. We're just putting more lines on it, tying it up, checking on it, making sure everything's okay. It's actually worse than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. And the Especially for a little storm like this. Though it's not as strong as tropical systems we've seen in the past, Crystal Ball is packing with it some wind. Look at the sheer force as it pushes water up into the marina. Still some coming north from Range Line Road were able to make it through. Were you aware that it was kind of flooded over here? Were you all prepared for that? Yeah, it floods all the time, but normally they close half the road and if you try it, you try it. I mean, it, it's your fault if you flood your truck out. Others left without a choice, forced to take a detour. Take care of somebody that's over there. And he's on, on Bay Road, so he's there by himself, you know, and always cook for him and stuff and he's gonna go check on him. And he said there's a tree down in his backyard, so I need to go check that out. Yeah. So now you're forced to go all the way around? Yep, all the way around. Cristobal, not a major storm, but just enough to be an inconvenience. And again, at this hour, you're taking a live look from our Storm Tracker SUV camera. You see that the uh, roadway still blocked off. It will likely be that way throughout the night. Another interesting thing about these Storm Tracker uh, vehicles, they're equipped with so much uh, technology. We're able to show you in real time the weather as we make it out to the scene safely. And once we get out, we can even keep the cameras rolling and you can see us working uh, from behind the scenes. So it's an investment that you won't see anywhere else in this market. We're live tonight from Dolphin Island Parkway, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News. All right, Lee, and Cristobal leaving some incredible images as it treks across the coast. A lot of you taking out your phones to film what's going on. Our Shelby Myers has been gathering some of those videos for you. She's live from her house with a compilation of what she found. Shelby. 
Yelanis, rough surf, wind damage, and a lot of this. Take a look. Flooding. You're looking at video sent in to us from Dawn Carney. This is in Biloxi at the Palace Casino parking garage. Water well into the first level of the parking area there. And it comes up to the middle of a tire of this parked vehicle that you see. And then you can see at the top of your screen, a car did have to be towed out of that parking garage because of the flooding. So not a good situation there. Staying in Biloxi, this is the Lighthouse Pier. The normally fairly still water churning over the wooden pier, and this is during the storms, the water just being relentless. The result of that rough surf, the tip of that same pier washed up half a mile to the west, actually, and the strength of Cristobal just pushing it to the shore so close to Highway 90 where so many people travel. And you can see the wooden benches are on that pier surrounded by debris and sand. And first responders there even having to rescue people stuck on Beach Boulevard because of so much sand and water that covered the road. And uh, I used to live in Biloxi, and this does happen a lot there on Highway 90, so they will be clearing that out throughout the next couple of weeks at least. Of course, Cristobal just really causing some wild scenes out there that we've been seeing all day, Byron. Sure have, Shelby, and there's plenty more to come. Look at this, another trouble spot in Spring Hill right now. About an hour ago, one of our storm tracker cars getting video of this big tree that's down on Avalon Street. MPD blocking off that street. Looks like some power lines snapped as well. And remember, down power lines are dangerous. So if you see them down in the street, stay away from them.